Welcome back to the Rabbit Ass Comedy Hour, brought to you by MTV, uh, MTV Cribs, and Beavis and Butthead by MTV. Watch MTV. Fuck. Watch it. Do it. Go on MTV.com, enter promo code FUCKMEUPTHEANUS, <laughs> and you'll receive a free goat in the mail. Yes. The problem is it won't have its back legs, but you'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you'll figure it out. That was an interesting intro. Yeah. But I don't hate it. We, were, we ended on talking about fame by David Bowie. We opened by talking about getting goats in the mail. <coughs> it's amazing oh, what yeah. technology can do. It's amazing what you can do. Oh, fuck. That scared me. <laughs> Brought to you by Lowe's. Let's build something together. Where's Lydia? Is that Lowe's? I don't know. Maybe she's that red dot. Oh, God. She's aiming a bow right at you. Oh. <coughs> yeah, Brother Lynch Hung um, is not the person who David Bowie ripped off fame from. In fact, I'm pretty sure his lyrics are original. I was going to say, he ripped off fame from someone at all? Because I don't think so. Yeah, dude, he ripped it off from the fucking um, Beatles. Oh. The Beatles. I knew that. The Rolling Beatles Stones. The Rolling Beatles Stones. <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly who he ripped it off from. The Beatles stones. Yeah. Um, so there is like a division in the musical community a lot of the time where people either like the Beatles or the Rolling Stones. Um, and I think, I, I, I mean, I know that I'm a Stones guy because I like the Stones, I don't like the Beatles. But some people are both. Some people I like am both. both. Interesting. Next topic. My phone's on airplane mode so that I don't get disturbed throughout this playthrough. I feel like um, I did that because I am a professional. I'm a professional. I do this for uh, my my own entertainment, so I might as well be professional about it, right? What? I started singing uh, For Your Entertainment by Adam Lambert. Well, this is going to be the so last ever I'm episode of Good Vibes because I'm going to run myself over. Sorry. No, I don't care. <laughs> I've never heard that song. <laughs> I like it, but I really don't think you would. All right. Is it about jacking your uh, packing, if you know what I mean? No, it's about... Is it about cushion for the pushing? No, it's about being there for someone's sexual entertainment. Sounds pretty risque. Sounds a little inappropriate. I would appreciate it if you didn't bring up sexual innuendos on the show. We're a family show. Of course. Us talking <laughs> about gigantic fat cat dicks. <laughs> oh, man. We've been talking about cat dicks for like four episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, cat dicks are uh, weird, dude. <laughs> they are. They're just weird. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, there. You know what? There's weirder. I've though. never, I've never seen a cat pee like in the perspective of looking at its dick while it does it. Is it weird to watch? Do I you don't know? know. Somebody I, watch a cat pee out of its dick hole and then tell me. Well, how it looks. I don't. I'm pretty sure they're like dogs and that they're they're you know ween doesn't come out when they pee. Is that why dogs pee just like flies everywhere when they pee? Because it's like splashing off of their maybe <coughs> splashing off of their foreskin. No, you know what's weird though, is I had a dog. His yes. name was Dez. Really? And yeah. I've never heard of this dog. You haven't? Mm -mm. You haven't heard of the skipper key that would uh, quote unquote protect me from my dad because my oh, dad yeah, yeah, would yeah. yell and he would yeah, get yeah, mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. My dad hated that dog, but I wish we could have kept him because he yeah. sounded awesome, but I don't yeah. remember him. But anyway, yeah. he had a weird peen, and it was like, <laughs> if for some reason it was angled up so that <laughs> he would always pee on his chest. Nice. It's like on the Goonies when they break the dick off of that statue and they try to put it back <laughs> on upside down. It's like, you're putting it on upside down. If God would have made it that way, you'd be pissing in your own face. <laughs> <laughs> they try to put it so that like the ball sack is on top. Oh, it's so funny. Oh my I gosh, I barely Goonies. remember that. I love the fucking Goonies, dude. It's one of my favorite movies of ever. Of ever. <laughs> Where's Lydia? She's fucking dead, okay? She's <laughs> dead. Just go. She's just straight up Forget dead. about her. Uh -huh. Who needs her? She'll be there with you in your time of getting greeted by the graybeards. 
getting gang banged by the gray beards. More like the mm. gay beards, am I right? More like the gay beards. Oh, I agree. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fucking die! Oh shit! Straight up, straight out of Compton. Crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube. Yeah. Yeah. I love NWA, dude. Can't get enough. Can't wake up. Can't wake up. <laughs> yeah, you know the song Bring Me to Life by NWA? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wake me up. Wake me up. Can't wake up. <laughs> Can't wake up. Can't wake up. Wake me up. Save me. Oh my god. It's so great. Just fuck me in the butthole I've become. <laughs> 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 Fuck me in the butthole I've become. <laughs> so you like you've become an entire butthole, right? But you want to get fucked in it, yeah. <laughs> like in you. <laughs> Fuck me in me. <laughs> oh my god. Good lord. I like. Are it. you going up the seven thousand steps again, clinic? Yeah. No, I'm too fucking old. <laughs> 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 That's right. I don't know. Fuck. Oh my god. I haven't god. played this game in like 6,000 years. It really has been a really long time since I played Skyrim, but I love it. Such it's a good so game. so great. So good. It always feels like returning home when I come back to Skyrim. It's like, oh yeah, this place. I remember this place from that time. I killed everybody in it. <laughs> you mean White Run? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, White Run. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I quickly realized though, if you're going to please be playing Skyrim, like, putting a lot of time into a playthrough of Skyrim. You don't want to kill everybody <laughs> in every town because no. it ruins your life. Not until you're about to move on to a different playthrough. <sighs> yeah, you want to be on, like, level 100 when you start killing everybody. It is fun, but that satisfaction is very short-lived once you realize, oh, I can't sell anything in this town or this town or this town or this town. Wait. Where do I go? You gotta follow the path, and you just really went off the path. But don't... No, don't go back there. There's a fucking frost troll, you crazy. Shit. He's up your Fuck. asshole. Follow the little markers. There you go. You're going the right way. Back on the path. Just stay on the path. Don't look back. Can't I almost wake up. did. Don't. He's gonna catch up to you and murder your anus. I don't want my he's anus gonna, murdered. He's gonna fist your dick hole. No! Dude, he's gonna fist it hard. Oh god, that would hurt. Well, duh. That's why That's why you want to run away from him, because he's trying to fist your dick hole. Oh, especially <laughs> with those big old hands? No, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I want to start a band no, called Fisting you. Dick Hole. Fisting Dick Hole. Yeah. That's Apocalypse funny. Dick Hole. Dick Pocalypse. Dick Pocalypse, yes. That would be a good name for a band. It would be. Um, there was a list uh, uh, on something I was listening to. I don't remember what it was. It was like some kind of podcast or maybe Bob and Tom. I don't remember. They were they were they were talking about the uh, top ten like band names that people start out with before they find their real band name. And like number one was Diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Diarrhea. That was Metallica, right? Like, I want there to be one... I don't know if that was Metallica or not. But anyway, I want there to be a band that stays being called Diarrhea and gets, like, really popular. Like, super mainstream. Like, yeah. you see people walking down the streets with shirts that say Diarrhea on them. Yeah. All the time. Like, you can't walk two steps in Venice without seeing some fucking asshole in a... In a t-shirt that he bought at a store right across the street from where you are that says diarrhea, but he already cut the sleeves off. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Made it into a muscle shirt. Definitely. Have you ever um, made a diarrhea into a muscle shirt? <laughs> made a <laughs> diarrhea. Yes. Oh, yes. God. Every day of fucking, my life. Diarrhea is the worst, dude. It's the least pleasant thing that can happen to you without being, like, necessarily painful. Yeah. I mean, it does get painful with the cramps and whatnot. He's like, Oof. let us taste of your cat dick. <laughs> <laughs> let us taste of your I like spiky to think that, cat dick. I like to think that when you're playing as a Khajiit, the shouts come out of your spiky cat hole. 
<laughs> yes. Spiky cat dick hole. <laughs> Please. I want to I want to have a band called um a Dick Apocalypse and our first album will be called Spiky Cat Dick Hole. Yes. Be there. Next time on Good Vibes. We're going to see what we're going to see what kind of gangbang shit's happening now.